Hi, it's me, Megan, and we're here again at the Learn to Monetize More video series. In this lesson, we'll teach you how to check for unfilled impressions in DFP. Every webmaster hates loss of revenue in any form, but it's a reality in the ad-serving life. One of the best ways to minimize lost revenues is to monitor our unfilled impressions so we can adjust our settings to increase fill. Today, we'll teach you how to go about doing that in DFP. Are you ready? Let's begin. When DFP cannot find an ad to serve within your inventory, it marks that impression as an unfilled impression. Unfilled impressions leads to a loss of revenue. Of course, this makes unfilled impressions of particular interest to publishers so that they can quickly identify them in their network and address it immediately. Let's log into our DFP account and begin our lesson with the Reports tab. On the left-hand panel, select Reports and click on New Report. Notice the option to choose a report type and select Historical. Decide what dates you want to check for unfilled impressions and input the beginning and ending dates in the date range box. It's here that you can choose between dynamic, fixed, or lifetime. The dynamic date range window yields a rolling report for yesterday, last week, or last month. The fixed date range allows you to input any date range of no more than 90 days. Finally, the lifetime date range gathers data for the entire life of the campaign. Now we must input dimensions in the Report Dimensions list. We can select the dimensions from the list or search for the dimensions within the search box. We have the option to view unfilled impressions by ad unit or ad request size. Let's briefly go over the process of pulling a report for both options here. Ad unit. If you'd like to view unfilled impressions for ad units of all levels, select ad unit dimension and drill down into the hierarchical view option so that each parent ad unit is displayed with its companion child units. Ad request size. If you'd like to view unfilled impressions by ad request size, select Ad Request Size Dimension. You can combine this option with the ad unit or placement dimensions as well. A note worth mentioning here is that unfilled impressions for requests from tags requesting multiple ad sizes will be recorded against the very first size defined in the tag. With our dimension selected, we can now scroll down to Report Metrics. Notice under the total column there is a box next to unfilled impressions. Tick that box. If you like, you have the option of typing in unfilled impressions in the search box instead. With all of our selection criteria inputted, we can now click Run Report. The report will pull all of the unfilled impressions within the date range selected for the ad units or ad size units depending on which criteria you select. With the report processed, we can now review and identify the location of the tag serving the most unfilled impressions. Our goal is to improve the targeting of price priority line items so that they serve to the unsold ad inventory that do not have schedules. As you review, double check to make sure that all countries, devices, and ad units are targeted. As well, we recommend that house ad units run at 100% and are targeted without frequency caps at a low value CPM. Any catch-all house line items may be scheduled to decrease unfilled ad impressions to a target approaching 0%. Delivery If you have questions on how to check for line items that are either on schedule or behind schedule, take a look at these two options for further review. See our lesson on How to Forecast DFP Line Items. If you are using GPT tags, check out the tutorial now shown on your screen. Another option is to generate a yield report. Here's how. Log on to DFP. In the navigation menu, click Reports. Then select Yield Report from the left side menu. Once in the Yield Report section, notice the percentage of unfilled ad impressions compared to the rest of the line item types. You can scroll down to click Unfilled Impressions at the bottom part. You will then see more details on which ad units are getting the most unfilled impressions. After we've identified unfilled impressions, it's time to correct the situation. To remove unfilled impressions, we can either remove the ad unit entirely from the page or traffic remnant house inventory to the ad unit with unfilled ad impressions. 
No question, unfilled impressions are a missed opportunity. We recommend one surefire and easy way to avoid unfilled impressions is by scheduling house ads to target every available line item targeting run of network ads. What may cause an unfilled impression? There may be many factors involved. Even if you have AdSense or AdExchange dynamic allocation enabled for your network, you may still come across unfilled impressions. This can be due to the ad unit not having a line item targeted to it for that user, and consequently no ad will be returned. Or you may have only one creative assigned to a line item that is already displaying, hence it will be excluded from serving to any other ad units on the page, resulting in an unfilled impression. Other reasons may include you have no more inventory than what you've scheduled, you don't have a house ad targeted, or there is simply an incorrect setup of orders and line items. Make sure to check for unintended unfilled ad impressions on a daily basis, and if you see spikes, follow our steps to eliminate them. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.